Know that knowledge and will are the special characteristics that allow man to draw near to God. Knowledge is information gathered either through the five external senses, hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch, or the five internal senses, imagination, recollection, reflection, memory, and common sense. Willpower is necessary for man to nourish the body, such as appetite, and to protect his family, such as anger. Know that knowledge is acquired by learning and deduction, such as knowing that two plus two equals four, or through inference, such as reflection. Acquired knowledge deals either with the present world, such as the arts and sciences, or the next world, such as knowledge of the heart, God, and His attributes. The power of the intellect cannot master the knowledge of both worlds, causing tension. Knowledge can also be flung into the heart, without acquisition or proof, and this is called general inspiration. This is the way prophets and saints had divine inspiration revealed to them, not by learning and study, but by cutting off ties with the present world, emptying the heart, and advancing wholeheartedly toward God. Knowledge and will separate man from beast and create many ranks, beast, youth, adults, the learned, the wise, saints, and prophets. Man increases in rank by cleansing and purifying the heart, for only pure hearts are exposed to God's gifts. There is an important difference between the actions of the learned and that of the saints that will be explained by way of analogy. Take the story of the competition between the Chinese and the Byzantines. A king gave them each one side of a room with a curtain hanging in between. The Byzantines gathered together countless colors and created their work of art. But the Chinese had no color and instead spent their time polishing the wall, giving it dazzling brightness. When the curtain was lifted, the Byzantines' art was reflected by the Chinese side with radiant brilliance. Thus, the beauty of the Byzantine art was increased by its added illumination. The learned are like the Byzantines and work to acquire knowledge itself and gather it into the heart. The saints, like the Chinese, work to polish, purify, and clarify the heart until the true nature of the real shines forth clearly therein. Know that the heart is like a mirror, Every heart is innately capable of knowing truth. However, there are five reasons the mirror may not reflect the divine light. A defect in formation, such as the heart of a youth that is not completely formed. It is turned away, such as the heart of a good and obedient person who does not seek God. Although it is bright, it will not have the real revealed in it. It is ignorant of the direction. It is covered with dirt, rust, or dullness, resulting from acts of disobedience to God. Lastly, there is a veil between it and God. Thus, to reflect the divine light, one must prepare for adulthood, seek God, follow the straight path, obey God, Lift the veil by emptying the heart of this world and remembering God. Know that there are three degrees of faith. The lowest is blind imitation. For example, if someone tells you that a person is in a house and you believe that is the truth. Next is logical reasoning. If you hear that person's voice emanating from the house and you deduce that is the truth. The highest degree is experiential knowledge. If you look at the person in the house with your own eyes and you actually see the truth.
Only the purest hearts can reach this degree and see clearly with the light of certainty. محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن